look crazy. I'm trying to hurry. Hopefully y'all can hear me. I'm headed to my laser hair removal appointment. Or maybe I should say my Brazilian laser hair removal appointment. I've just been watching a lot of laser hair removal videos and I feel like I had to watch too many to get, sorry y'all. I should have did this when I was parked. But I feel like I've been watching a lot of videos and not one video summed up all my questions. So I had to watch a few to get the answers um, that I wanted. So I'm putting this video together for y'all so that it can be a one-stop shop. One thing about me is I'm gonna give raw, honest answers, and I'm gonna ask the questions that people don't wanna ask. I'm just your girl for this review. You should get paid as much as a gynecologist to look at vaginas <laughs> all day. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, self-care. It's needed. Okay, so and I'm like the worst shaver, so I'm like, I hope that I shaved enough. No, this is perfect. Okay, cool. Just enough to be able to see the hairs. Really, the longer the hair, kind of the more uncomfortable it is. Oh, okay. Got so it. This is and then I will go on the outer side too. Okay. So the Brazilian includes like the butt crack? It does. Oh my gosh. We're gonna get it all. <laughs> all of it. That doesn't hurt as bad though, surprisingly. Okay, really? Yeah, it doesn't hurt as bad. I figured it would hurt more since the sun really does most, shine there. I know, most people <laughs> think that, but I find that the upper pelvic region yeah. hurts the worst. So once you get through that, I usually start with that. Yeah. Then you just know it gets better after that. Okay, cool. All right, girly, I will let you know for about 15 minutes and then we will get started. Okay, thank you. You're so welcome. Yeah. She just applied the numbing cream. So I'm gonna be numb. I think I have to sit with this on for 15 minutes. Hopefully y'all can hear me. I have to try to get the aesthetics for like the outside office because the office is super cute, but it was so many people out there that I didn't want to be weird and like record, but the office is so cute. It's so modern. Look at my ear all bent. I will make sure to leave all the info for all my girls in Cincinnati. And I'm working with a girl named Brooke. And she's super, super sweet. I'm a big person for like first impressions. And like the greeting and just everything was warm and welcoming. So... They already got a 10 out of 10 for me. I feel kind of awkward because I'm just laying on this table with my legs open. And y'all heard me ask if we're gonna do the butt crack. I'm scared. I wasn't nervous before I got here, but now I'm nervous. I just wanna know what it feels like. So I will be back when she starts. I think I still have at least like 10 minutes of this numbing cream.
hit like every little follicle. So if you can see, do you see that circle right there? Yeah. So the idea is we're getting this whole this whole surface area and yeah. we want to kind of barely overlap it. So we um, will get everything eventually. Yeah. It'll just take a few seconds. Gotcha. Alright, I'm gonna lower the head of the bed so you can put the teeter belly. Alright. Oh Lord. Don't tell me which way is worse. Front of the back. <laughs> Hopefully I don't clench my butt cheeks and say <laughs> We are not too modest here. <laughs> we do it all. Alright, you ready? Yes! Okay, I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. How's that? that awesome? I survived that one. shouldn't do like exercise or anything like that? Exercise is fine, oh, okay. although I do tell people to refrain from intercourse for a day. Oh, okay, cool. Do you know we do anywhere else in this? No. Okay, it's cool. I am going to get some healing cream on you. Okay. So when I come back, do I typically see whoever is available? It's or? totally up to you. So oh, okay. um, there's another nurse that she does the same exact services oh, okay. that I do. Okay. But when I walk you up, you just tell them whatever availability okay. matches yours or if you want a specific person. Okay. And I don't have to put nothing on. Like, you okay. don't. No, cool. not at all. If you want to gently exfoliate after about two days, like with a loofah, you can. Mm -hmm. Kind okay. of accelerate that hair shedding. Okay. But it will shed on its own. It'll gotcha. Just take a few days. Okay. But we did get a few that actually came out today. Yay! I will step out while you get redressed. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. You're so welcome. I gotta get back to work so I will talk to y'all about everything in a little bit. I did keep the camera on throughout the entire treatment so y'all can see my raw reaction. Just hear the conversations that we were having. Hopefully I didn't ask any inappropriate questions. I don't even remember. I was just kind of going off the top of my head as it was going. Um, yeah, overall I survived. It wasn't bad at all, but we will talk more about it in a minute. I gotta get back to work. I'll
Hey y'all, it's been almost two weeks since my laser hair removal. I know that I said I was gonna come back that same day to do a review, but life happens, y'all know I get sidetracked. And then I started thinking about it, like why don't I do a review like a week or two later to really get them the update? Because I feel like a few hours later, I wouldn't have been able to give y'all a true update. I wanted to let a few days go by to see if I experienced any pain or irritation or anything like that. So I feel like now I can really give you guys a true review or a true update on what's going on with me and just answer a few questions that I personally had. And I just want to put it in the video so that you guys can have answers to these questions if y'all questions are the same as mine. The cost of my laser hair removal treatment for the bikini area, it was five sessions and it's $300 per session. At the office that I went to, they had a special going, so if you paid up front for all the sessions, you buy four and get one free. So I ended up spending $1,200 for five sessions because I got the fifth one free. So it kind of worked out instead of $300 per session. I think y'all do the math, but that's like, was it 240? 240 a session or something like that? So I ended up choosing that option. So yeah, whatever option works for you and your financial situation, hey, go for it. I feel like I'm missing something, but basically all the forms of payment that you can really think of, they accept. The office that I went to is not only a cosmetic office, but they also do like medical procedures. Um, if y'all saw in the footage I was showing you guys on the television, different treatments and services that they offer. So I feel like I'll be back for more things because there's just so much to offer there. I love the office that I went to. I already told y'all the welcome was great. The people that I dealt with was great from start to finish. So I would definitely recommend anybody in the Cincinnati area to go check out Mona Dermatology. And I will make sure I link the information in the description box below. The treatment overall, I felt like the pain level was at like a five majority of the time. I've watched some other vlogs that people say that the pain was at like a seven. Maybe I have a high pain tolerance, but I can say that on the first visit, she did mention that they always start the laser out on the lowest laser setting just to see how you do. I guess I'll give an update in future videos what happens during my next few sessions because she said each session they will continue to increase the laser. But for this appointment, it was out of five. I think I can handle it. A lot of people say that it feels like a rubber band is popping you. I didn't really feel like a rubber band was popping me. Um, I can't really explain it, but it. Uh, I felt like if the laser was in a spot too long, it did kind of feel like a light burn. I didn't really feel like the popping sensation like a rubber band but it could be because it's my first appointment, so I may experience that at future appointments. I also didn't have any type of like burns or scarring or anything like that. The full Brazilian also included the butt area, so everything had to go. I was uncomfortable with having to, you know, go back there where the sun don't shine. She handled my fears well. She didn't make it uncomfortable at all. We were just having general conversation and it was cool. A lot of people were probably wondering if the butt area hurt more than the front area. And I would say, no, I was thinking that the butt area would be more sensitive, but it didn't really hurt at all. I would say the back area was probably at like a two or a three, honestly. And this is with the lower level laser. So maybe in a few appointments that may be different, but for now, it didn't hurt at all. The sessions are scheduled six weeks apart. So I think I went in February and my next appointment is in April. I did ask questions about, you know, aftercare. Is there anything that you have to put on the area? Is there anything that you can or cannot do? She did say take about two days until you start to exfoliate with a loofah down there. She does suggest not having any type of sexual intercourse for at least 24 hours after the procedure. You don't have to put anything on it at all. After my treatment, she did put like a healing cream on me. 
I didn't have any irritation at all afterwards. Hours after, days after, there was no irritation at all. I was completely fine. I didn't have any redness or anything. So I was pretty proud because I have pretty sensitive skin. So I was just expecting some type of reaction, but I didn't get any. It's been two weeks and my hair typically grows pretty fast. I can say this may be TMI for some of y'all, but it's still looking pretty light down there. I know I still have four sessions left to go. I feel like the first session was pretty effective. If you're on the fence about getting laser hair removal down there, I suggest you do it. I've only had one session and my experience was great. And I'm just looking forward to my next four. Um, obviously it's not ideal for everyone, especially since it is on the more expensive side. But if you can do it, I suggest you do it. Don't think twice about it. I literally pondered about it for a few months and then I just gave in one day and said I'm going to get a consultation and I did it and I'm happy that I did it. I would tell a friend to tell a friend and I would definitely tell them to check out Mona's Dermatology. I look forward to taking y'all on my next journey and I will see y'all next time.